The aim of this experiment is to generate 3D tissue-like spheroids. This is accomplished by first harvesting cultured cells and then generating a single cell suspension. Next, drops of the cell suspension are deposited onto the underside of the inverted lid from a tissue culture dish. Then, the lid is inverted onto the hydration chamber. The final step is to incubate the hanging drops for 24 to 48 hours to allow aggregates to form. These can then be transferred to a shaking water bath and incubated for up to five more days. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show differences in aggregate cohesion or cell sorting through compaction assays, tissue surface tensiometry, or epifluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, uh, like conventional 2D tissue culture, for example, is that cells grown in 3D more closely mimic cellular interactions experienced by cells in a tissue environment. I'll be demonstrating this method to show you that it's so simple that even a PI can do it. To begin this experiment, harvest adherent cells at 90% confluency. First, Aspirate the culture media and rinse the cell sheet twice with PBS. Then, aspirate the PBS and pipette 2 ml of 0.05% trypsin EDTA solution onto the monolayer. Place the plate into the 37 degrees Celsius tissue culture incubator and incubate until cells detach. Next, remove the plate from the incubator and halt trypsinization by adding 2 ml of complete medium. Use a 5 ml pipette to triturate the mixture until the cells are fully in suspension. Then, transfer the cell suspension into a 15 ml conical tube. Pipette 40 microliters of a 10 mg per milliliter DNA solution into the cell suspension and incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Following incubation, vortex the cell suspension briefly and then centrifuge at 200 times gravity for 5 minutes. Once the centrifugation is complete, aspirate the supernatant and discard. Then, resuspend the pellet in 1 ml of complete medium to wash. Repeat the centrifugation and resuspend the pellet in 1 ml of complete medium. Next, perform a cell count using an automated cell counter or hemocytometer. Adjust the cell suspension with media to a final concentration of 2.5 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter. Then, proceed to the formation of hanging drops. Prepare a hydration chamber by removing the lid from a 60mm tissue culture dish and pipetting 5ml of PBS into the bottom of the dish. Invert the lid of the plate and pipette up to 20 10 microliter drops of cell suspension onto the underside of the lid. Ensure that the drops are placed sufficiently apart so as not to touch. Gently replace the lid containing the drop cultures back onto the bottom of the PBS containing dish. Place the culture plate into a tissue culture incubator set at 37 degrees Celsius, 5% carbon dioxide and 95% humidity and incubate overnight. Monitor the drops daily and continue the incubation until either cell sheets or aggregates have formed. Once cell sheets or aggregates have formed, transfer them into round bottom glass shaker flasks containing 3 ml of complete medium. Incubate the flasks containing the cell sheets or aggregates in a shaking water bath maintained at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide for around 24 hours until the formation of spheroids can be visualized under a dissecting microscope. Once spheroids have been formed, the effect of experimental manipulations on spheroid formation may be quantified according to the procedure outlined in the written protocol. Also, the membrane intercalation of any previously included fluorescent dyes may now be visualized using fluorescence microscopy. This bright field microscope image demonstrates the aggregation of rat prostate cancer MLL cells after 18 hours of incubation using the hanging drop method. This image shows a second aggregate of MLL cells formed after 18 hours of culture using the hanging drop method. 
These cells were cultured in the presence of 25 micromolar of the MEK inhibitor PD98059, resulting in a substantially more compact aggregate of cells. Here, the difference between MEK inhibitor treated MLL hanging drop culture aggregate size and untreated control aggregate size is demonstrated. The asterisk represents a statistically significant difference of P less than 0.0001 as determined by students' t-test between untreated and MEK inhibitor treated aggregates and suggests that MEK inhibitor treatment results in significantly smaller and more compact aggregates. This image was captured using a Nikon SMZ800 stereo microscope and illustrates a spheroid formed by incubating chick embryonic liver cells in hanging drop culture for 18 hours, then in a 37 degrees Celsius shaking water bath for 48 hours. This confocal microscope image demonstrates the sorting out behavior that occurs when certain cell populations are co-cultured using the hanging drop method. Before proceeding to hanging drop culture, Chick embryonic liver cells were stained with PKH2 membrane intercalating dye and chick embryonic heart cells were stained with PKH26. The cell suspensions were then mixed and hanging drop culture was performed for 18 hours followed by 48 hours of incubation in the 37 degrees Celsius shaking water bath. It can be seen from the optical section that the heart cells, pseudocolored yellow, are enveloped by liver cells, pseudocolored blue. Here, Two encoderin transfected L cell clones expressing NCAD at their surfaces at a ratio of 2.4 to 1 were stained with the fluorescent membrane intercalating dyes PKH2 and PKH26, mixed in equal proportions and cultured as hanging drops as before. In this example, the high encoderin expressing cells, which are pseudocolored green, are enveloped by those expressing lower levels of encoderin, which are pseudocolored red. Once mastered, uh, this technique can be done in 30 minutes or less if it's performed properly.